Good morning everyone and welcome to Athens. This is my third day here. Um, the first day I arrived around 3 p.m. So I just went around walking with some of the guys from a hostel room and just got to know the city a little bit before I yesterday went to the Museum of Acropolis and learned a lot. And today I am going to the Acropolis, which is just right behind me. People have lived in Athens for over 3,000 years. However, this rock formation that we know as Acropolis and its history mainly starts in the 6th century BC when aristocratic families took over Athens and this place was left to worship the goddess Athena and goddess Athena is uh, the goddess of battle who helped Athens whenever Athens was in a battle. Um, so the city of Athens is actually named after the goddess Athena for all her help. So around the same time, temples, inscriptions, statues, theaters and offerings to the goddess Athena were made here on the Acropolis and around it. So because of that, uh, Acropolis became the political and social center of Athens. Because of the Persian Wars in 590 and 580, the Acropolis were left in ruins and everything had to be built up again. So instead of getting rid of everything that was ruined, they left everything on the ground and built on top of it. A lot of the ruins and statues are today um, in the Museum of Acropolis, just down the street from Acropolis and they have tried to find the right colors that was once used at the Acropolis and the four main colors used were they were um, red, ochre, white and black today it's only beige and white everything made of marble Yesterday at the Acropolis I met uh, two girls um, and <laughs> the funny thing is when you travel solo you are not able to take any good photos of yourself, right? But these two girls were so nice and helped me take a good photo and uh, they got in touch with me, with me. Um, thanks on Instagram last night and I'm meeting them today to go to a cafe so the cafe is going to be really really nice I'm excited
just split from the girls and we had such a lovely time. We first went to the Cafe Ellis and oh my god, the beautiful flowers and the setting was just beautiful. And they got some smoothies and nice drinks and it was just beautiful. After that we went to the ancient Angora, walked around there forever and it was just beautiful to look at all the uh, all the old ruins and the church and yeah That we just walked around the city. Um, we wanted to go to the botanic gardens, but it was closed. So we went to Hadrian's Arch, which was really nice. Before we went up to the hill of the Muses, and we also saw the prison of uh, Socrates. This was once the prison of Socrates. He believed that you could think yourself uh, and find the truth by just thinking. And he did not believe in the gods of Athens, so he made up his own and he was imprisoned and had to die. This is the remains of his prison. So today has been a really good day. We've been doing a lot of stuff and it was so fun to be with the girls. Just, it's just how, it's just so interesting how it's possible to just meet somebody up at Acropolis, um, taking photos and, and then you just hang out the next day. It's so, so nice. Um, so yeah, um, so, Chloe, if you're seeing this, thank you so much for all the footage and the, um, the photos and everything. I really had a good time with you guys. Now I'm heading back to the hostel, I think, to find my other friends and maybe uh, go for some food. I'm really, really hungry right now. So yeah. And oh my god. Athens? Sorry, I just... <laughs> I just can't get used to and I just can't get enough of you. <laughs> it's just so beautiful here. So last night after being with the girls, I went back to the hostel and just got some food and just had a quiet night. And I was supposed to leave today but I extended my trip because there's so much to do in Athens. So I really, really want to just spend another few days. So it's Friday today and I arrived on Monday and I will leave again Monday. 
next Monday, <laughs> you see. So I have three more days here in Athens before I go to a new destination. So today I'm just gonna go and do some more sightseeing. I bought a, a combo ticket that you could go to Acropolis, the Agoras, and a lot of other stuff uh, for 30 euros. So I'm just gonna go around and just use my ticket. Uh, so yeah, that's today. And I think it's 14 degrees, it's sunny, and it's actually just beautiful weather to walk around in. Hadrian's library which was built by the Emperor Hadrian well he was a Roman Emperor and this building is made by Roman architecture which kind of seems weird because you're in Athens however Athens was actually captured by the Roman Empire for a while so this library kept a lot of um, parchments rose apartments well papyrus or how you say it books back then it was also reading rooms and lecture halls and in later years it, there has also been made a lot of churches here which is you can also see remains of here and we're not that far away from uh, acropolis acropolis just up there so it's very very close everything It's very fascinating how we find this fascinating because back in the days they did not find this fascinating because they stole and they built on top of new things but I also get it because a lot of it was ruined during battles and just the age of time. I am now at the Roman Agora, which was built by the Romans in between 19 and 11 BC. It was built because the ancient Agora got two big and high buildings. So they built this one to have storerooms, offices, shops, and uh, became the new centers, center of commerce. It has in later years also been uh, by the Byzantine regime uh, been built houses and churches and uh, it was actually used until the 19th century which is very interesting but they do not really know when the Roman uh, Agora was destroyed because you see it still remains but there's a lot of columns here and I have not seen a place um, in Rome with that many columns um, well except for the Acropolis but it's a lot that's still here which uh, was not in the ancient Agora for example the Roman Agora is very small compared to the ancient one but still it's very close to the Hadrian's library and still uh, the Acropolis is just up there so everything is very, very close it's just that one two minute walk from Hadrian's library. Some of the buildings were even donated by Julius Caesar and Augustine. <laughs> it's so weird to have been reading and writing about these people and you kind of just see them in Rome and how they travel for battle. You couldn't really imagine them donating buildings 
to Athens. Everything in marble. I'm now heading into Karamikos, which is the archaeological site and museum. Uh, I have heard a lot about this. A lot of the people at my hostel has told me that I should go here. So I don't have any expectations other than that it should be really great. I don't really know what I'm going to see, but I already love some of the buildings here. A lot of this used to be houses and over here there used to be baths and there's even a, a very big uh, graveyard over there. Good afternoon. Today is Saturday and tomorrow is my last day in Athens so today I just wanted to relax. I had a really really slow start in the morning. I woke up around 9, went to breakfast before I, I went back to bed and just slept a little bit. Did some yoga on the balcony and took a shower and now I'm out. Today I just want to walk around and just look at some of the sites that I still have a ticket on on the combo ticket and just yeah just have a really relaxed day so now I'm going to the Zeus temple so I've I thought that the temple of Zeus would be this big stadium because it was also called the Olympian or something so I kept walking and of course I missed the exit so I just kept walking to find something else and um, the Temple of Zeus is not what I thought well what I thought would be the Temple of Zeus <laughs> is not the Temple of Zeus because now I found it it's this huge station stadium uh, that is actually still operating the stadium, stadium of the first modern Olympic Games is what I'm looking at right now. That's crazy how I thought it would be the Temple of Zeus. I don't know why, but it just looks like that. And I think people said that, so I don't know. Let's take a look at it. I'm 
walking towards the school of Aristoteles or Aristotle. I don't know how to say it in English to be honest. Um, it's called Lycion, Lycion, something like that. I just hope that I find it. Aristotle, he believed that the true goal in life was to be happy and to be a happy person you had to be a good person because you had to be good to others to be able to be happy and I really like that he also believed that to be able to be a good person you had to socialize and develop and I totally agree with that that's why I love traveling, I love being around new people, new cultures and seeing something else than what is back home because you can always develop at home but you cannot develop in the same way that you can when you travel because you will meet so many new people, interesting, fascinating, good people around the world. Today I'm just walking around enjoying the city. <sighs> just love taking it in this slow speed. This last day I'm here. It's so beautiful. It's Sunday and there are musicians in the street just playing beautiful music and a lot of the sites are closed it might be because I'm here late but still it's just beautiful to walk around and just look at everything much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to uh, comment down below your opinion and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up <laughs> see you next time bye guys <laughs> i would love for you to follow me as i travel around the world please hit the subscribe button uh, to not miss a video if you would like to know what's going on in real time follow my instagram wonderless with molly <laughs>